Hello, my beautiful souls. Welcome into your daily read for Friday. I hope you're doing well. We're going to begin with the Queen of the Moon Oracle deck, and we have the Mermaid Tarot for the main part of the reading. Let's jump right into it. What do we have for Friday? Okay, flopping out. We have several. Um, they want just the one. I feel like you, as I want to hold these up, right? The messages for the cards individually, not so much important in this case, but what stood out being this card, I feel like uh, at least for the most part, if not fully uh, representing your energy, in the midst of what may feel like darkness or um, uh, difficulties, right? Uh, lack of information is what I'm getting, lack of insight. We're needing to remain or get back to that peaceful way of being and recognize that what feels um, somewhat or fully lacking within our situation can be made up for moving forward, okay? Um, or be acquired in one, if not multiple ways. They're giving me these two numbers added up. Um, the number 10, completion lies ahead and more peace is going to be created for you because I feel like that's what you need on so many different levels. Interesting. I just picked up the patience card in reverse or flopped it over. Um, we did speak upon this in the previous daily read for Thursday. So it could be a, a reoccurring or a continuing message coming through for some. But I do feel like in the midst of uh, at least a little bit, if not full lack of patience, we're needing to really embody um, what we consider uh, the best form of peace uh, for ourselves. Does that make sense? However, the, this peace is going to look and feel the best for you. We need to be um, embodying that, right? Embracing it. And therefore, through it all, um, without even realizing it for some, or maybe partially realizing it, regaining um, patience for the future. And maybe even for your current day situation or two. But at the bottom of the deck, we have acceptance and action. There is an acceptance that's needed uh, wholeheartedly at this point in regards to where you're at along your path with what situation I feel is so uh, imperfect, but you don't remember at times in those small moments when the details, the imperfections stand out uh, like a sore thumb is what I'm getting, that you again, we've mentioned recently, have had it so much worse. Um, I feel like there's action in regards to um, accepting yourself more so, okay. Um, if we need to remind you of how good looking and how amazing you truly are, that'll come through. But I do feel like it's a day where certain levels of um, little poking may take place, right? Whether it's uh, somebody else in your world, it could be a spirit or two. But I wouldn't be surprised if you're thinking about how you bond with certain energies at this point, okay? Um, and spirit saying there is such a magical way about something you're feeling very connected to, excuse me, connected to throughout this day, but there's a magic and a, a mystical way about your individual energy, whether you realize this or not. Now, the number six um, is coming into play, and um, I feel like you're going to remember how much abundance you currently have, but how much left is still to acquire to be one with moving forward. It feels like you may be pushed to observe a lot throughout this day for a sake of uh, synchronicities, messages from spirit, from your guides is what I'm getting. Um, but also I feel as if there are certain moments where for some drawn to the reading, it's stopping and looking at what you do have abundance wise, not just uh, physical items, materialistic things, but otherwise, right? Maybe the company that you keep is what I'm hearing. Um, or maybe the success is coming to be for some it's growth. Um, and maybe to remember how far you've come is important, but there's levels of abundance. I feel like you're going to be pushed to stop and remember, or maybe notice for the first time, all right, or see in a different light. But they're also informing you of an opportunity, a chance to bring more of what you've been um, desiring and maybe needing as well. This opportunity moving forward is going to entail you needing to act swiftly, okay? to make a, a very uh, informed decision like that, because we're not letting you pass up what's meant for you. Let's move on to the Mermaid Tarot. Um, I'm also being drawn to the squirrel here. Okay, yes, yeah, a squirrel. Um, and for me as a reader and a very spiritual individual, spirit uh, typically will push me to look at squirrels to remind me to um, one, watch my energy, right? For the better and for the worse. Um, uh, interesting, that was not correct wording. To watch your energy, usually when I'm feeling a little bit anxious, but apply it as you may, 
but it also could be um, a reminder to be enjoying yourself a bit more. You could be feeling a bit pent up, a bit um, hearing tight in the shoulders, okay? Notice when things are um, hinting to you that you're feeling embodying a bit of uh, anxiety, right? Feeling a bit anxious, the your tongue to the roof of your mouth, um, you know, is somebody, your leg moving up and down, um, stuff like that, feeling a bit um okay uneasy or just uh restless for somebody but um as well when it comes to um okay something about your your hands your fingers okay notice these things they're communicating to you um to watch your energy and to enjoy yourself a bit more to um to let loose a bit sorry i feel like the set of messages was a bit messy but let's move right along flying onto the floor I'm not gonna get that card because I feel like there's a message, a reminder for some drawn to the reading that what has gotten away was purposeful. Now what's meant for you to uh, to acquire moving forward will come to be in the right timing. But if something's meant to or somebody's meant to come back around, that will happen. But there's a purpose either way to why something feels like it got away from you or somebody, okay? Um, it's coming through for a reason. So moving on to the two cards that I have in front of me, um, key wording, the Sun card and the Six of Cups. It feels like there are thoughts of what you went through, thoughts of what and maybe who you let go of or inevitably separated from. It feels like there's a definite informing and or reminding of how this actually did leave you with happiness that you either forgot um, or just didn't realize fully. It feels as if there is a reminder of when you go at a slow and steady pace when things come in and divine at times slow timing uh, that's beneficial for you as i was drawn to the turtle here there's also a feeling of you remembering when you feel best in energy okay whether it's more um, avoiding a habit or two for some it could be uh, more in regards to implementing a positive habit or two uh, routine if you will it could be as well steering clear of certain energies or a location or something of the sort i'm hearing or an action but um this is all to benefit you currently to empower you but to move you forward in a healthier uh more accurate direction okay in way but i feel as if you're somebody's being reminded there are a ton of fish in the sea now um okay something about the state of texas is what i'm getting but um as that was a really ra random message I feel like um, that fish in the sea doesn't necessarily have to be, say, a single person looking for or desiring new love or connection or friends. Um, it definitely could apply to opportunities otherwise, right? Or one in particular. But I feel like you stand out. Um, I'm hearing like a bright, uh, multicolored fish in the sea. There's something about you being different uh, in one, if not multiple ways from the rest in one if not multiple situations and this is leaving you with more abundance okay absolutely beautiful i also feel like one piece of abundance whether it's more so noticing it or simply receiving it gaining it it's going to make you feel more peaceful where's that card it's going to leave you with more peace it's going to make you feel more at ease and a bit more comfortable okay even in the midst of i want to say for somebody discomfort and this is truly truly amazing that's powerful and that's magical um i'm hearing you're powerful you're magical but i can't help but feel drawn to this circle here um reminding you of the protection in certain forms that aren't as obvious in the moment but also uh, again going back to the sun card completion my friend what needs to be wrapped up in the upcoming weeks what needs to be wrapped up throughout this day what needs to be um, okay, prevented for the future. That's going to be key for you as well. I'm being drawn to, um, oddly enough, a chip uh, or a chunk taken out of the frame of uh, the doorway, okay, that I'm looking at, uh, to the room I'm filming in, and spirits saying, um, somebody has a chip on their shoulders. Okay, interesting as my stomach is growling, but um, as well, the imperfections of a situation are going to be highlighted, but an imperfection about you is going to benefit you on more than one level in more than one way and I'm hearing more than one form okay uh, they finish that with abundance um, but I do feel as if you're needing to remember how peaceful you're meant to be moving forward 
and how much easier life is meant to feel down the line due to certain changes um, in certain levels of protection that you are one with at this time and maybe even again being reminded of. This is a, a very important, I want to say kind of uh, somewhat of a turning point for you where you need to be one with this peace and this abundance once again, okay, and the way things are transforming for you. So I hope this was truly helpful. Sending you so much love and light. Definitely go enjoy your day, and I'll see you next time.